So if you're looking at this, this is going to be a tutorial of how to use my Math 360 units, which are all-inclusive units. That means you don't need anything else to go with them. You don't need a test. You don't need extra practice. You need nothing. Um, so if you're getting my Math 360 units, each of the units is organized by a unit number. This is unit number five, and I'm doing showing you the grade six. However, all of my units are structured the exact same way, so this works for all grades. What you'll do, the first thing you want to do is open up the one that says detailed lessons. So this one will say detailed lessons, grade six, unit five. It's going to be the PDF. If you want me to make that editable for you, and I can, you just have to email me at sherry at mrssroom.com and I'm happy to send you the editable version. That means all your mark sheets can be editable as well. So let me open that up and walk through it with you. So the beginning of the unit will start with what you're learning. And then you'll see that this gives you some instructions on how to use the unit, tips, for how to use it. Um, this one is how to see the expectations um, and what they're color coded as, which is handy because then you know exactly which strand you're covering. The plans are organized by week and you will find they are color coded. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the plans are right here. All you have to do is follow them. If it says open the slide file, review area of triangles, all you have to do is open that file from within the unit. So the unit comes as one file and then you have to download each of the documents within it. You want to down or open that one when it says to. Then you're going to move through each one. I'll skip through. Each of the units includes mark sheets with anecdotal notes, which are, again, editable, so you can write, it, write on them if you'd like. Each of the mark sheets references exactly which expectation was covered within that unit. And then it also gives the spiral math um, used. So these are my spiral math expectations. You will find that at the end of the unit, and that is something that I do every day as a quick five minute math talk. So these are all the additional pages that are included. If you're doing this digitally, I do have this made digital and I'll show you that in a second. They come with answer sheets. This one includes coding. Sometimes they will include anchor sheets as well. This one is my spiral math, so it will give you a quick question to cover each of the strands every day. Each of the units includes a quiz, as well as practice questions that are referenced within the lesson plans so that you know exactly which questions to give your students in which order for the best success. You can see in the title here, it says four area of trapezoid. That means that's the fourth file you should use. So you should use these in the order that they are referenced in order to get the best success for your students because they move in the progression that is easiest for students that I found to understand. So here we've got number three, area of a kite. It gives an anchor chart. There are teaching and partner questions and then answer questions within. If you don't want your students to have access to the answer sheets, you simply go through and delete those. I have a limit on files. Any worksheets that are found at the back of the PDF will be referenced here so that you can allow your students to do these if they're doing them digitally. You will see these are all the lessons included in one of my units. Um, so there's a lot of material, probably more than you can cover in four weeks, which is great because you'll have extra to review later. I always include scaffolded review if it says review. Um, that is from the previous grade concept or one that I think your students might need a little more practice with. This is something that you can use quickly and easily with no practice and it's quick to download because it's a Google file. You just click right click and download on it. Thank you for listening. Check out mrssroom.com.